Okay, so this morning we're gonna do a quick demonstration on how to use the lock miter machine. One of the first things you'll wanna do is to double check the, the angle that you'll be cutting on your piece and also the height of the rollers or the thickness of your material. Uh, the first thing we wanna check is just right here is the digital readout. Uh, currently it's on a 45 degree angle. If you wanted to do a different angle uh, down here underneath, you just unlock that and then crank the wheel one way or the other to get the desired angle that you'll have. Uh, the next one uh, you'll wanna do is just the height. Right here's a similar idea. Unlock that, twist the wheel one or the other, get your desired height. Currently we're at three quarters of an inch, which is what we'll be doing today. So after you get the correct angle and the correct height, over here on the control panel, uh, you wanna double check and make sure you know which head you're gonna be running. So one side A, one side B, uh, right here are our standards on which ones we'll be running. And then you can also adjust the speed if you need it to or not. So first thing we'll start out by turning the dust collector on, starting the head. When you're running, you want to make sure that you run your piece face down and tighten the bed. So after you run that, you get a nice clean angle right there. You want to make sure you switch it to the other head. both pieces make sure they're both nice and clean then we'll dry fit them and make sure it comes together nice and clean